Good day, my brothers and sisters, children of the light, as the Apostle Paul calls us in 1 Thessalonians 5, Ephesians 5, children of the day. I quickly want to talk to you today just about respect for God. Um, I think because so often from, from pulpits, we preach God is love, God is forgiveness, God is grace. We read in the Gospels of God incarnate in in Jesus Christ, perfect man, perfect God, that we sometimes, well, sometimes, very often, forget that He is all-powerful and almighty. And I want to encourage you to to live with awful respect for God. There's many, many places in the Bible where it speaks of the fear of God or living in the fear of God. And, and my best interpretation of that is not a shivering in the corner fear. It's an awful respect for who he is. To have truly respect for him and living as if you have respect for him. So please don't blaspheme him. Don't make jokes about who he is and his holiness. It's absolutely not acceptable. Refer to him by his his, his truly due titles, God Almighty, um, uh, Heavenly Father, uh, Jesus Christ, Lord. These are the titles we used for, for the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Restrained from using statements like the man upstairs or um, expressions that we use. Or, or I heard someone um, a few weeks back call him Pops. Pops, you know, pops up there. That's not respectful. Your, your, your earthly father you can call pops. Uh, or pops or dad. or When you refer to the almighty, you do it respectfully. If you don't live in the fear of God, two things. One, it's really time to do introspection of your faith, because I don't know how genuine it is, because if you are born again, and I know not all denominations use the term born again, but Lord Jesus in John 3 speaks to Nicodemus and say you must be born of water and the blood, you must be born again to see the kingdom of God or enter the kingdom of God. Um, If you have truly a relationship with Jesus, um, His Holy Spirit, Romans Romans 2 says, His Holy Spirit circumcise your heart and come live inside you. And the Holy Spirit will definitely um, bring guilt if you live with disrespect for the Trinity. Hence, the Holy Spirit will convict you if you live with disrespect for the Trinity. Hence, if you say you're a Christian, I don't care what denomination you are, and you don't have respect for God. It's time to do serious introspection whether God's Spirit lives in you and whether you are truly saved. Sorry, being very honest. So live with respect. That's a proof of the Spirit living in you. And secondly, if you don't live with a, in the fear and awe of God, I don't see how His blessings, His grace, and His wonders can flow into your life or through your life if the relationship isn't correct. He is the Almighty. You and I are nothing in front of His throne, except in mercy and grace through Christ Jesus, His Son, our Lord. Love and respect for God. Even when you refer to Him, um, I see so many social media um, and posts where Jesus is written with a small letter or a personal pronoun He or His is written with a small H. Um, or fathers, little sm- written with a small f. He's remember this. He's our father. He's our savior. He's our bridegroom. He's our friend, but he's not our playmate. He is the almighty, all-powerful divine God. Live in respect with for him when you do social media, um, 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 writing, write his name and his personal pronoun. In capital letters, that is respectful because you need to live in the fear of God if your faith is genuine. 
please go to my website www.clitterforchrist.co.za or just type in my name Heinrich Lottring on YouTube as many other videos to watch. My true benediction for you is the one true living God, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit will richly bless you.